Hey guys, it's Masquerader, and today I have a little tutorial for anyone who's new to League of Legends. To find the list of champions, you click on Profile and then Champions. Click on Available from the drop down menu, and then the ones with the exclamation points are the free to play champions. When you click on a profile, you can see their stats, their skins, and their attributes for Akali, she's an assassin. If you click on abilities, here's where you can actually see what her abilities do. If you click on lore, here's where you can get a little more information about Akali. And if you click on tips, here's where you can see how to play as Akali and how to play against Akali. And all this information is available to every single champion. To set up your rune page, you are going to click profile and then click runes. Here you will have a rune page. To deselect a rune, you're going to right click and then to add a rune, you're going to drag and drop and then just make sure you click save. On the right hand column you will see your stats and this is where you see what the runes do. It basically boosts your stats. And then if you want to add a rune, you just go to the store, click runes, make sure you are in tier 1 and only buy from tier 1 till you have tier 3 available to you because the stats are much greater in tier 3 and tier 3 costs a lot more than tier 2 and 1. So just wait, save your money, and wait till you have tier 3 available. To set up your masteries, click profile, then masteries. Here is a blank page. I'm copying over the masteries from a website that I will be linking below for you guys. You can see what each mastery does by just hovering over the icon. To deselect a mastery, just right click and make sure to name your page and then click save. Since you are new to League, you are not going to have the total 30 points, so just put points where you think you need it most, whether it's offense, defense, or utility. To figure out which spells you want to use, click profile, then spells. Here is the list of all the spells. You get to choose two. Each spell has a level that you need to be to unlock the spell. To figure out which spell does what, you can read the description. When you first start out, you will most likely be using Ghost and Heal. These two are binded to your DNF keys by default. Use them in-game to help you attack or help you escape an enemy champion. To set up your item sets, go to Profile, Item Sets, click the plus button, and name your item set to whatever you'd like. I'm just going to do a Kali because I'm going to do a quick example a Kali build. So first off, I'm going to set up my starting items. I'm just going to grab some health potions, you know, whatever I want to use at the start. As I go through this, I will be adding another item, but this time I'm going to add it in a new category. So we're going to grab the blade right there, and then I'm going to rename it to core because I want this to be my core build. And next I'm going to add Bloodthirster just for kicks. And then I'm going to try and find a pair of boots and add it into its own box. And I'm going to call this Post Core so that I know to buy this after my core items. Once you do all of this, make sure you named your item set and then click Save. And I'll show you next how to select your item set while you're in the game. This is where you select your champion for the game. I'll be As selecting Morgana. I'm going to switch out my spells we'll and then make sure I have the right rune page selected and I can check by hovering over and checking the stats. Then I'm going to select the proper masteries and lock in. Once you're in the game, open up the store, select the arrow, and then select your item build. Pretty simple, you'll see that all the stuff you selected is now inside the store in-game.
To use your pings, just select G on your keyboard and then drag the mouse in the direction of the ping that you want to use. You can do the same thing on your mini-map there and this will make the pings pop up in a different area. When you use flash, make sure your cursor is facing the right direction. Be aware of your cooldown times and make sure you know you have these spells before you rush in somewhere. To heal yourself, you can either click inside the box or you can push the number on your keyboard. Any unique actives can be pushed from your keyboard. I hope this was helpful for any beginners out there. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below.